If you know anything about Batman Arkham City, then you know that it makes you feel like Batman. Part of that is being a billionaire, and part of being a billionaire, I would presume, since I am not a billionaire, if you can't tell, is having an extensive wardrobe. And since everyone by this point should know how good the combat and traversal and stealth are in this game, I thought I'd give my opinion on how the different bat suits are in the game. And just a reminder, this is all my personal opinion. All these bat suits are cosmetic only. They don't affect the gameplay in any way whatsoever. And since this is the first Arkham game to really have a lot of cosmetics, there's still only nine different suits to wear. If you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comments. I'd be very happy to do Origins and Night as well, because those have a lot of other suits as well. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's take this from the top at number nine. In last place, I've put the Batman Incorporated suit. The suit would be much cooler if the chest, like, bat symbol didn't stick out so much off of the actual suit. And then there's the crotch armor that I know gets joked about a lot online, so I'm not really gonna, like, rag on it too much, but it's just kind of a hokey looking suit in my opinion. It looks much, much better in the actual comic books, and it just doesn't translate to 3D very well, which is a problem that a couple of these suits have. And aside from those two features, the like emblem on the front, and then the also like the junk armor, it's just a really generic bad suit. It's just a pretty typical gray and black. It just doesn't strike me as very interesting. I barely ever use this one, if ever. Like I think using it for this video might have been like my third time using the suit ever. Not a huge fan. I know this is a very unpopular opinion, but I simply do not get where all the love for the Batman Beyond suit comes from. I've only seen a couple episodes of Batman Beyond, but the Bat suit is really cool, and in this game I do think that they get some parts right, like, you know, the actual symbol. I think the red Bat symbol is really sweet looking. The suit just doesn't translate into 3D in my opinion, especially when, like, gliding, like those tiny wings just look really goofy in my opinion. There's something they really like about the suit though, like I like how it's got the pattern all across the suit that makes it look like it's nanotech like in the show. But the suit just doesn't look good on the Arkham City Bruce Wayne. I guess I just feel like he looks too big for the suit. But my main problem is the face, I think the face just looks really weird and uncanny. The white eyes just feel like they're staring right into my soul. I know the suit is the fan favorite from this game, or at least it was, I don't know if it still is, but I just really can't get behind it the way other people can. Maybe just because I never grew up watching the show, but the suit just really isn't for me, and that's why it's right near the bottom of the list. Up next is the Batman X skin. I think this one's pretty cool. I really like the black utility belt. The most unique thing about this suit is the emblem. I actually do really like the emblem on this one. I like how it's connected to the cape and not just on the chest like with the Batman Inc. skin. And this skin also doesn't have the weird junk armor on it. The only reason that this one's further down the list is just because I don't really have very much attachment to the skin outside of Arkham City. I haven't read Batman Earth 1, so I don't really have much connection to the story at all. But I do think this is a really sweet looking bad suit. Obviously it's not my favorite because it's further down the list, but I think that goes to show more how cool all the other suits in this game are, instead of just how bad this one is, because this one's not bad. This is a perfectly serviceable suit in my opinion. Batman Year One I'm a really big fan of the comic Batman Year One, and I really like how they recreate the suit in Arkham City. I really like the white utility belt, I think that's a really unique look. Like, you, normally the utility belts are yellow or black, we never see white, really. And I know that's not the color it is in the comics, but I think it's a unique choice they made in the game. Aside from that, it's just a pretty generic gray and black bat suit, not really a whole lot to say. The other thing with the suit is that they changed the face model under the cowl to fit more with Batman Year One, and it looks alright. He looks a bit too goofy, looks a little weird, a little too young, which I get it's like Batman Year One, but like, it's supposed to be his first year as Batman, not his first year being alive, you know what I mean? The face just looks a bit too young under the mask, but the suit I think is really cool. the 1970s bad suit is criminally underrated. I don't think people dislike this suit, but I just never hear anyone really bring it up at all in general. Which is upsetting because I think that the blue and gray is a super underrated color combo for Batman. 
I also really like how this suit does the emblem. I really like the like Michael Keaton looking emblem, the yellow and the black like oval. And I like that it has the whited out eyes too. But maybe I just have a soft spot for the blue suit because it reminds me of the Sonic suit from Lego Batman. That is a very real possibility. Also the Brave and the Bold cartoon on Cartoon Network. I grew up watching that show too, and that show was great. At least I remember it being really good. So even though I wasn't alive during the 1970s, the suit still feels really nostalgic for me, which is why I like it so much. Next we have the animated series suit, and I think this one is really, really cool looking. I absolutely love the cell shaded look it has, I love the emblem on the suit, I love the yellow utility belt. It's just a really, really cool looking bat suit, and it looks even cooler because they went the extra mile and made it cell shaded. Personally, I think the Batman Beyond suit would have looked way cooler if they made it cell shaded like this one, because like I said, I just don't think the Batman Beyond suit looks good in this game in like the Arkham City realistic art style. And it's just a really nice callback to the animated series because the Arkham games are pretty much like a grown up version of the animated series with it having Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill coming back to voice Batman and Joker, respectively. This is another really underrated one, I don't really ever hear anyone bring this one up, but this is one of my personal favorites in this game. At number 3 we have the default bat suit, just the one you play as normally. It's almost 100% identical to the Arkham Asylum suit, but the biggest difference is that the bat symbol is redesigned, and I actually like the Arkham City version better. But my favorite part about the suit, and it's just my favorite part about all the default suits, is just that they become damaged and worn as you go through the game. Especially just like how torn up the cape gets, especially like after the story's finished and you're flying around in the post game. But then there's also all the other scrapes and damages that the suit gets over the course of the game that I think really makes it really cool in my opinion. This is definitely my most used suit, it's probably most people's most used suit. It's also got the long ears on the cowl, which I didn't mention, but I do tend to like bat suits with thicker ears. I think the suit just has a great design, definitely one of my favorites. This suit's another super underrated one, but it's one of my favorites, and that's the Sinestro Core Batman suit. Obviously, this is Batman with the yellow lantern ring, and they even have the ring on his right hand, you can see. And I just love, like, the gold, yellow, black that the suit has going on. I love that the Bat emblem is replaced with the Sinestro Core logo. I like the whited out eyes. Obviously, I love that they give him the yellow lantern ring, which I think that's just an awesome little detail that they probably could have gotten away with not including. But the fact that it is there just goes to show how much effort went into this suit. And it sucks that this suit, I really don't hear much people talk about this suit. This is one of my absolute favorites. Obviously, we got some other Lantern Core Batman skins in Arkham Origins, but I would have loved to see this Sinestro Core suit come back in Arkham Knight. Sucks that it never returned. Dark Knight Returns skin. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I think this is the best bat suit in Arkham City. One of the reasons is that Dark Knight Returns was the first Batman comic I ever read, so it's got a super special place in my heart. I think it's really cool that they remodeled the head to make him look like the Dark Knight Returns Batman with that big blocky chin that he's got. Obviously there's the Batfleck parallels because Dark Knight Returns was the big inspiration for the Batfleck suit. I really like just the oversized bat emblem on the front of the suit. And I just feel like this suit really fits with the vibe of Arkham City especially well. Arkham City is definitely a bit of a darker Batman story, what with Joker dying and all, and I think the Dark Knight Returns suit really, it just fits the vibe, you know, of an old grizzled Batman going through Arkham City. It just fits well, you know? And that was my ranking of the Arkham City bat suits. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see Arkham Origins and Arkham Knight, I'd be happy to do that. And if you like my Yakuza videos, obviously Infinite Wealth drops this Friday. I'll be picking that up. I'll be making videos on that right as soon as it comes out. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. As before though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm Tactic Zombies signing out. Peace out and God bless. I'll catch you guys later.